Hey, how's everyone doing today? Josh here again. Well, I uh, came back in the woods uh, to do a camp out. I brought a tarp, but I thought I'd come back here and check this out, fully expecting it to be collapsed. Uh, we just had a huge snowstorm and then rain on top of it, and then it froze. As you can see on the sides of the, the roof, it's still packed on pretty good. But I, yeah, I fully expected this to be collapsed. I wanted to check it out, so I didn't bring a stove, um, thinking I would just be camping out in the snow. But uh, it's still standing, so I'm going to camp out in this tonight. And I'm going to build a fire on the inside. And i got to be a bit careful because I don't want to burn the tarp and make things worse. So I do have a fire pit somewhere here in the snow. I may uh, try to dig these rocks up if they're not frozen to the ground and move them on the inside to have my fire. Instead of find it. Yeah, that's definitely not. It's completely frozen. Yeah, that's not coming out of there. Still had some wood from last time. Try to cut that up, maybe. All right, so I'm gonna have the fire right here in the center so the heat doesn't melt the tarp. Um, the ground's frozen solid, it's soaking wet anyway. So I'm not too worried about it spreading around. I got dry wood from last time, or it's pretty dry, and then all this wood I just cut is kind of damp and got snow and ice on it. So I'm kind of gonna mix the two as I go.
Okay, as you can see, this is not gonna work. There's smoke bellowing out both sides and the wood's just too wet, too smoky. So I'm gonna use the fire pit and I'll move this out here. I think that's what I'm gonna do to cook and get warmed up and then I'll go in there to sleep because uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> As you can see, it's just a little black spot. Didn't even get into the ground yet. But uh, just put that on there and good as new. So the wood's still gonna be smoky, but I'm just gonna line the, the walls with the wood. That'll help dry it out. And then I carve this out. So that I'll, sit, I'll bring my mat out here and I can sit down and this should be nice to keep the heat around and keep the wind off hopefully. All right, so on today's menu, we got some sidekicks, honey garlic noodles, and we have some sausages, but we need some water. All right, so the water's ready. I'll just uh, get the sausages on next. Alright, so this is the second time I uh, took sausages in the woods, and the second time I burnt them. So uh, if you have any tips on cooking them over a fire, let me know. I basically had to mangle them apart to get the insides cooked. Anyway, I'll probably still eat it, but... Alright, so I'm going to eat this sad sausage before it gets cold. Um, yeah. Burnt on the outside. Cooked on the inside. It's twice now, I just can't figure it out. Maybe I should do it on a stick like a hot dog. But I gotta eat it now. And the coyotes smell that, they'll be around. Yep, that's good. <laughs> Sausages didn't do so good. Noodles, perfect. A little hot. Get this fire going, I guess. <clears throat>
it's been a really long time since I did this, but I'm gonna, I just boiled some water. I'm gonna put it in this algae bottle once it cools down a little bit and uh, put this in my sleeping bag. And um, yeah, it should keep my feet nice and toasty and then my water won't be frozen in the morning. Good morning. The hot water bottle was amazing. Forgot how nice that was. Water didn't freeze, so that's good. I watered first thing this morning. Now for the worst part of camping is getting up in the cold morning. <laughs> So I woke up uh, this morning, 3 a.m., to a coyote 
coyote just howling over here. It's just the one, there wasn't a pack of them that I could tell. And then other than that, just uh, some owls. Yeah, the coyote is pretty close. It wasn't that far. But I smelled that uh, burnt sausage. Seriously, if anyone knows a good way to do that over the fire, let me know. Well, I just finished uh, cleaning the snow off the roof because there was a lot of ice and snow built up there. I didn't want to get the tarp ripped, so it's good to go for hopefully next time or whenever I come back here. But anyway, uh, it was a fun trip, and uh, yeah, catch you guys on the next one. Peace.